Welcome, mortals. Welcome to my 100% playthrough of Dusk HD on Cerro Miedo difficulty with intruder mode enabled. This is episode 1, The Foothills, and this is map 9, Ghost Town. Ooh, Ghost Town. Spooky. Well, here we are in the penultimate map of The Foothills episode. 85 kills and a whopping 10 secrets. Wow. Well, we're going to start things out by being as ghost-like as we can. And silently taking out as many of these bad dudes as we can. You probably heard a scarecrow sense us. Where is that scarecrow? There he is. We're going to hop in here. Secret number one of ten and get us an assault rifle. Yep. The Scarecrow's super shotgun awoke the fourth maiden. So, no real sense in trying to be stealthy anymore. I want to go ahead and try and take out that fork maiden as quickly as I can. There we go. And while we do that, we can also get secret number two by shooting out this vent and getting some goodies. Including a diamond I probably shouldn't have picked up yet, but oh well. Oh no, and now we have a whole group of leathernecks chasing us. Whatever shall we do? Oh look, a, another leatherneck. Another one. Well, how about you lot? Come a little bit over here and there we go. Didn't kill him, but it will weaken him. You know what? I bet I can just pistol all of you now. Yeah. That's the glory of explosive barrels. Makes everything easier. And then inside this garage, I believe, is secret number three. Yep. Just go behind the parked vehicles. And yes, this garage is always open. And also... What's that? Ooh, shells. There's also a little surprise here. So if you jump over to this border here and go towards the garage... Uh... Well... What just happened here? Can we shoot them from here? Oh my god, we can. <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, run. Ain't gonna do you any good. <laughs> oh, no way. We can actually shoot. You know what? It's in the game. I'm gonna use it. I am absolutely gonna use it. I knew we could clip through the map. I did not know we'd be able to shooting faraway enemies like this. Including all those guys down there just waiting on me. Now, this is way too much fun. Some might say it's cheating. I call it having fun. But, well, what actually is the point of coming out here? Well, um... <laughs> to have fun, you could say. Look at that. More bad guys. Well, since we're out here... Why well, not have as much fun as we can? Why let them get the drop on us when we can return the favor? Oh yeah. Hey, rats. This building's actually a secret area, by the way. And there's a gas can over there, but you don't want to blow it up because there's a crack in the wall that leads to yet another secret. That's right. A secret within a secret. <laughs> I did not know you could explore this much of outside the map. That is awesome. There is one other map we can do this trick on, but it's nowhere near as worth it to do. Um, in the original version, the non-HD version, there was actually a sword in this other out-of-bounds area. But in the HD version, what we're playing now... That is not there, and you have to waste a lot of resources to get out of the map in that... Well, in that map. <laughs> but for now, let's read this lovely little message. You are not supposed to be here. Go away. Well, fine. I can still have fun inside the map's boundaries. Just watch me. I'll start by getting a second pistol. 
And then we are going to take a look in here. So this red key door is entirely optional, but it is actually a secret. And we're going to want to get it before the final fight, trust me. But for now, let's actually get a secret that we can go ahead and reach. Grab both of these here. Crates. Boxes. Whatever. Jump on top of them. Be careful. The physics in this game can be a little janky. Not like Postal 2 levels of janky, but still a bit, still a bit janky. It's an agreeable level of jank. But let's get inside that building we were just blasting the rats from. By, yep, blowing up that crack in the wall. Right there. For secret number five. And then secret number six. Take the gas can or any explosive source. And blow open that crack in the wall. Take out the rat that dwells within. And, oh, hey, look. Secret soap. And a toilet. Fun. Okay, what else in here? Anything? I think we got everything. This is the garage that those military dudes were in. Went ahead and took care of them early. Hey, Dusk Dude gets to have him some cheap fun, too. Don't you forget. Oh, what's up, rats? Goodbye. There's a mattress that we can use to restore some morale if we need to. Granted, it is rather filthy. I probably would not make for a very comfortable sleep, or a real pleasant sleep, but when you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and light a fire here, just because I want to. And, oh, yep, there's a hood of one of the uh, mages we just killed from out of bounds. <laughs> Inside here, to be specific. Okay, I am getting a little ahead of myself, but I don't care. It is very fun. Um, that blue key door over here is actually the exit, so we don't need to worry about that for now. What we will do instead is head inside this house. Go ahead and get some bad dudes that are... ...looking forward to killing us. This is actually where that one secret teleported us to. Go ahead and grab the ammo and the yellow key from in here, as well as this non-secret, yet still relatively well-hidden sniper rifle. Now, I don't know if this ladder is there at the very start of the map. I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure you have to actually teleport yourself into this house or building before it extends all the way down. I'll take that beer, though. But, most importantly, secret number seven. Open up this wall. Use our new hunting rifle to down these leathernecks and grab us a super shotgun. And what else do we have? More boxes of shells. Nice. Well, I'm full up right now, but I will come back here if I don't forget. Okay, so two secrets left. One of those is that red key door. I think we're ready to go through here now. And ordinarily, there would be a small number of enemies waiting for us. But we went ahead and took care of them. At least most of them. We couldn't quite see these guys from out of bounds. But that's perfectly okay. We got these guys, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, boys, but all's fair in love and war. And before we head up there, we're actually going to go down to here for another shotgun and then open our next secret by way of that switch. It is that room in there which contains, you can't really see it from here. Well, actually, you kind of can. Yeah, see it rotating? That's the red key. So the key is the secret as well as the room that it unlocks. And we're going to go ahead and unlock that secret now. Now, that room will lead to a pretty big fight. We did take care of a few of the enemies that were in there already, but not all of them. Not even close. So, we are going to want to get that red key door secret now. Because it will grant us a rather big boon for that fight. Oh, I also forgot to go in that building. Look at that. Riveter... Crossbow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're decked out now. Books and beer. Sounds like my kind of place. 
You can even leave off the books part. Just give me the beer. I think this is actually one of the first secrets you can get. I just didn't get it until now. But let's get it now. Secret number uh, 10, since we just got the red door secret. Flip the switch upstairs and drop down in here for a morale diamond. Ooh, I know where to come back to if I need some morale. And that's it. That's all the secrets. Now we are ready to do that big fight. And uh, probably going to start with the Riveter. Because there, there's going to be a fast fire totem. But there's also going to be like four Fork Maidens around you. And it's definitely easiest to just rivet them. So let's do that. There we go. And before we get that totem, let's unlock everybody. And I mean everybody. Come on, boys. The water's nice and warm. And where's that totem? There we are. Just like that. Ah, beautiful, glorious, perfect use of that fast fire totem. And then, yeah, we just unlocked some more bad guys outside. Hello. Someone's an eager McBeaver today. But not eager enough, I'm afraid. One last enemy to take care of, and it is a fork maiden. Guarding the exit. And that's it. And that definitely demands a good old puff of this here stogie. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can't be stopped. Alright, let's see what ultimate evil this episode has waiting for us. See ya! And that was Ghost Town. Definitely one of my favorite maps of this episode, if not my absolute favorite. Whether you choose to uh, <laughs> cheat, in air quotes, by heading out of bounds of the map or not. I mean, hey, you can access the out of bounds area without actually cheating to get there. You don't have to use no clip if you don't want. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's in there on purpose. Therefore, it is legit. Otherwise, why would they put that window there? So, if I want to have a little bit of extra fun, then goddammit, I'm going to have me some extra fun. But whether you choose to utilize that little exploit or not... This is a very, very fun map. Can be very dangerous, so you want to pick your path pretty carefully. Um, not necessarily as carefully as in Through the Gate. It's not quite that level of cramped in some areas. There's definitely more room to roam around, even in that big fight that we just finished. But overall, very, very fun map. I would say it probably is my favorite of this episode. As the penultimate map should be. Just action-packed. Plenty of secrets to uncover, and just an all-around fun experience. But, that was that. The penultimate map of the Foothills is done. The boss level is next. Oh boy. What horrors await us. We shall have to wait to find out. So until then, everyone, that was Ghost Town. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day or night. I am signing off once again. And I will see you all next time when we dusk on along to the boss level of episode one. So, until next time, everyone, I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.